Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do the drawing of a parabola again, but notice that the parabola equation is different. Now, this parabola equation is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, which you know as a quadratic equation. When you are drawing this parabola, it still works that if a is positive, I am happy, and if a is negative, I am sad. Then your turning points. Now this is slightly different. Your turning points is no more a coordinate that you can just pull out from the equation. Your turning points is x is equal to minus b over 2a. When you get that answer, you'll substitute the answer into the original and you will get y. So to get x, we're going to say minus b over 2a and to get y, we're going to substitute the answer into the original. So we're going to take this and we're going to substitute it into the original. Number 2 and 3 is exactly the same. X intercept, Y intercept. And then you're going to draw. Now, let us start with the turning points. The turning points is X is equal to minus B over 2A. In solving for X, under the section quadratic equations, we had done where you would use the formula, the quadratic formula, which was minus b plus minus uh, the root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where we would have used this formula. Now look at this, minus b over 2a is exactly the same that we're using. And like how we get a, b, and c from the quadratic equation, it's exactly the same way that we get a, b, and c in the graphs. So what is my b? My b is minus 3. So I'm going to have minus, minus 3 all over 2 into 2. So x is equal to minus, minus 3 over 2 times 2. Therefore, x is equal to 3 over 4. That is my x value. How do I get my y value? You get your y value by taking your x and substituting it. So you took your answer and you substituted into the original. So we have y is going to equal 2 into 3 over 4 all squared minus 3 into 3 over 4 minus 2 which is equal to 3 minus 3 and 1 over 8. Now what is our turning point? Write it down in the form of a coordinate. You must get into the habit of writing down in the form of a coordinate. So we have 3 over 4 and then we have minus 3 and 1 over 8. Next we are going to do the x intercept. x intercept means y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0. So I have 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Now this is a quadratic equation. So either you can use the formula to solve it or you can simply do the brackets, but the choice is really yours. To do this graph, you must know your algebraic expressions. You must know how to solve for x. You must be able to do all of this. If you can't do this, you won't be able to draw graphs. So, how are we solving for x? I've used the brackets. x is equal to minus a half and x is equal to 2. If you are not okay with how I got these answers, you must go and refer to your solve for x before you can continue. What are our coordinates? x is minus a half and y is 0. x is 2 and y is 0. How do I know that? I'm specifically, I started with that. y is equal to 0. I said x intercept, y is equal to 0. Then I have y intercept, x is equal to 0. So again, we're going back to our original. So we have y is equal to 2 into 0 squared minus 3 into 0 minus 2, which is equal to minus 2. Now this is what I was talking about in the previous video where I, dis where I discussed and I said some children just assume that it is the last term. In this method, you can assume it. But in this method, you can't just assume, hey, my answer is going to be plus 8. So be careful depending on what method you're using. For me, it's safer that you substitute and you get an answer instead of taking the chance and not being sure. 
what is our coordinate? X is 0. Y is minus 2. We are saying in the beginning, Y intercept X is 0. And then Y is equal to minus 2. What are our coordinates? Our coordinates are minus a half and 0, 2 and 0, 0 and minus 2. And our turning point was 3 quarter and minus 3 and 1 8. We also know from the question that it is a positive, which means that I am a happy graph. Okay. All right, now, how do we draw this? Now, 3 quarter, if we have our 1 year, 3 quarter is just before your 1. And then we have minus 3 and 8. So, if minus 3 is here, then it's just after that. So, where are we mo meeting? We're meeting at that point. We also know that it is happy. Now, let's do the other coordinates. We have 0 and minus 2. So, we know that the graph is going to go there. And we have minus a half and 0. And we have 2 and 0. So, our graph, if we're joining all the dots, it's going to look like this. Write in your coordinates. So, here, write in 3 quarter and minus 3, 1 over 8. Write in your coordinates here. A half, minus a half and 0. Here, it's 2 and 0. At this point, it's 0 and minus 2. Now, that seems like silly things to do. But if they say in the uh, exam question, clearly show x intercepts, y intercepts and turning points. By putting the dots, you're not clearly showing. By putting the coordinates, then you are clearly showing. So, if you don't put in those coordinates, most likely you would lose marks. Okay, let's take another example. Now, I want to do a different graph. It is also a parabola. But you must look at what happens when we do the x-intercept. Now, you know it's a sad face. So, it's a negative, meaning it's a sad face. From our turning points, we know that it's going to be minus 2 and minus 4. Now, we know it's minus 2 because we've got x minus p all squared is standard. So, this is minus minus 2. So, the x and the minus leaving us with p is equal to minus 2. Right. Now, Look at your x-intercept. The first one was turning points. We know that it's a sad face. If I do x-intercept, I'm going to have divided by minus 2. Now, you know, if I root this, it is non-real. There's no answer for this. What if I did y-intercept? This was x-intercept. Let's do y-intercept. When I do y-intercept, x is 0. So, I've got minus 2 into 0 plus 2 all squared minus 4, giving me minus 12. So, my coordinate is 0 and minus 12. All right, now, let us plot the graph. We have minus 2 and minus 4. My turning points is minus 2 and minus 4. And then, we know that it is a sad face. I'm crossing over 0 and minus 12. Now, look at this graph. It is obvious that my x-intercept is non-real because my graph is not even crossing my x-intercept line. So, sometimes when you drew doing the equation, then you end up with a non-real answer or you see, hey, but the calculator is not working. Sometimes it's a trick. Look at the graph and see, can I still draw the graph if I don't have x values? Or should I have x values with the information that I already have? Thank you for watching.